Hello all, my name is Alexander Lorenzo. I'm a therapist in the Counseling Services Department at Johnson & Wales University. This brief training will be about the subject of how exercise, fitness, and nutrition can improve your mental health. After completing this training, you should be able to do the following. You should have an understanding of what the benefits are to both your physical and mental health when you make efforts to improve both your nutrition and your physical fitness. You will also be able to identify some healthy nutrition options that you may want to try and to see if there are any activities that you may want to do on a consistent basis that can help you improve your fitness. So as you can see this picture here with this uh, young adult binge watching Netflix, the time on the clock is 4.30 a.m. and they're sitting there eating nachos, drinking soda, with multiple screens laid out in front of them. So how many of us can identify with this, especially since the pandemic has started? While this may seem like an easy means of escape and killing time when we can't do the things we normally do, the problem with this behavior is when it continues on a regular basis is that it really decreases our motivation for healthy activities in a variety of ways. So it's time to make a change. If you're feeling like the picture in the last slide is an accurate description of what your behavior has looked like over the past four or five months, then you know how that has probably been making you feel. What we really want to do when we're trying to make some proactive shifts toward a healthy lifestyle is to slowly move away from escapist behavior, from behavior that really allows us to avoid engaging with our lives. By making healthy behavioral changes from the food choices we make to how active we are, to how much we engage in screens and media can make a big difference to both our physical and mental health. So here are some of the health benefits of improving our nutrition and how active we are. Some of these may be quite obvious to you or people have told you this in the past. But really, when we start to look at it, improving these basics of our self-care can have such a wide range of positive results for us. So certainly, there's the things we might expect. We might not gain any weight or able to lose weight or we might start feeling more confident. But you also might find when you start eating cleaner and are exercising more consistently that you can manage stress better than you could before. You may not feel as anxious. You may not feel as depressed. Your cognitive functioning and the clarity of your thought will likely be much higher than it was previously. And also, while on the physical side of your health, you may find that you get sick less often because your immune system is working better, by improving your nutrition, you're also supplying your body with the building blocks it needs to make the neurotransmitters that allow your mood to be regulated in your brain. So some nutrition ideas that you can play around with. Um, I know that uh, I often get some eye rolling or uh, some questionable looks when I encourage somebody to, you know, maybe try not 
to eat meat on certain days of the week. Try to moderate your meat intake. There's a lot of research to show how doing just that can improve our energy level, motivation, again, our cognitive functioning. It does not mean you have to be a vegetarian or vegan, but just to consider and challenge you know, the ideas we have about what we're putting into our body and really looking at the research and the information that can help guide our nutritional intake rather than just the things we've been told throughout our life. So here are some ideas on things you can do and uh, I encourage you to approach it with an open mind. So I've had to break up you know, into ideas about physical activity into things you can do in and around the house and things you can do outside due to COVID. Uh, gyms are open in Rhode Island. However, not everyone may feel comfortable returning to the gym uh, because of the proximity you may be to other individuals. So in getting ourselves back to being active, I feel like we really have to push through any resistance we might have about working out at home or working out outside because we can really control more of the variables in terms of who we're interacting with when we're, when we're doing it this way. Um, activities you can do around the house, really a lot of these can be done for free or at very little cost. Um, and it's all about, again, pushing through the, any resistance we may have. I do hear from a lot of individuals that, you know, they just maybe don't feel comfortable working out at home or they don't feel as motivated because they're not in the gym seeing other people working hard. And in some ways I can understand that. However, this is all about, again, stretching our boundaries, opening up our mind and trying new things that can only benefit us. So here are some examples of activities you can do outside at a safe distance. Prior to the pandemic, you may not have given it much of a thought if you like to work out outside. Uh, but now we want to be social distancing um, when we're outside. So just being mindful of that. If you're utilizing the bike path that's close by or if you're taking a run on the street, just being mindful of how close you're getting to other individuals when you're doing that. Again, there's many examples of different activities that you can engage in. Um, and do outside at a safe distance right now. And there should be, uh, again, nothing stopping us from doing that other than our own mind. So once we can build that motivation to start engaging in these behaviors, then it's just about how we maintain it going forward. So I hope through this training that you've gotten some ideas about how you can consistently work on both your physical and mental health every single day. The big take home point is that they're both very much interrelated. So without caring for yourself and your physical health, it's very difficult to feel good on a psychological level. And the same can be said for the other way around. If we're not caring for ourselves on a psychological level, then we may also not be feeling too well physically. So we need to really make these a priority and do the best we can to keep our efforts consistent. So stay safe and be healthy. Thank you.